And hello on a very pleasant day for football here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City and they face Brentford. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. taken short will it be Sergi Canos Frank Onyeka could cross it in here good tackle it'll be a throw Ruben Diaz Rodri Gundogan won it back Foden and return to Gabriel Jesus Rodri now Gundogan Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. So, underway once more, Manchester City with the advantage. Christian Nurgard. Henry. Not much time to make up his mind. Kevin De Bruyne. Gundogan. De Bruyne now. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Gundogan. De Bruyne. Gundogan. It should be. Oh, surely. The save was a good one. And there's the delivery, making sure nothing untoward happened. 
Gundogan. And return to Gabriel Jesus. High quality defending. Counter attacking very much an option. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. He could pick out a teammate. Can't sit back. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Good tackle. Mbermo. Frank Onyeka. Now, what can they do from here? Tackle, take it away. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Riyad Mahrez. Gabriel Jesus. Mahrez. Opportunity to deliver the cross. He cuts it back. Can he do it? Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, so technically gifted Ilkay Gundogan and his technical qualities are coming to the fore, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily and he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. And the second half underway after what was a sparkling first 45 from City. Can they repeat that in the second 45? Gundogan. De Bruyne now. Foden. Moving the ball effectively. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Christian Nurgard. Sergi Canos. Ayer. Onyeka. Janert. Nicely timed tackle. Gundogan. Mares. And offside. Well, close one. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number 26, Riyad Mahrez, to be replaced by number 7, Raheem Sterling. And taking it away. Well, no stopping him. Gundogan Sterling well not the pass he had in mind and it wasn't taxing for the keeper Mbermo going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss Rodri 
Gundogan. Can he put it away? Gundogan. Phil Foden now. A super tackle and they've won possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And return to De Bruyne. And he saw the situation developing. And Lucy Davis, that's Lucy Davis. Please come to reception. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. He's protecting it effectively. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Vitali Janelt. Janssen. Christian Nurgard. Could pull one back here, which he does, and maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equaliser. It would be quite the frenetic turnaround. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Jesus. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he finish them off? Pivotal moment defensively. Mbermo Vitali Janelt and we are going to have two additional minutes Christian Nurgard well they're attacking but time is the great enemy and that is that full time here and a win for City your verdict well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. As a footballer, you can never be quite sure how it's all going to unfold, but suffice it to say, it unfolded positively for Gundogan. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.